In this tutorial, we will see the basic features of Canon DPP, which is the full form for Canon Digital Photo Professional. So I am having here the version 4 of the Canon Digital Photo Professional. So you can download the software for free of cost from the website link given in the description below. As you can see here, we can appreciate that there is digital photo professional about preferences where you can set your own custom settings. And in the file, there are many options. Then there is edit to edit to various images. Let me select the images first. Some images for the... So this is the basic layout that we see once we open the digital photo professional. So in the edit you can select, you can select only the raw images, jpeg images, not very good software for to edit the jpeg images. So better software to convert raw images into jpeg. Then you can select check mark, the rating and other features which we will see in the later tutorials. Then you can select how to view, you can appreciate the tab bar if you need it hide it for a while then there is navigator palette use this to navigate various images and the thumbnails you can open the preview screen to open it in a larger pattern and you can add check marks to select the images the best images and the worst images and you can adjust it here directly and work color space you can select since i use adobe rgb in the camera settings so it has been selected as adobe rgb then there are many tools like rename tool hdr tool compositing tool and you can transfer to photoshop if you use it then there is window and small help so these are the basic things that you see in the main bar and here you can appreciate the edit image so if you click that the edit window will appear which we will see in detail in the next tutorial then there is quick check window here you can appreciate the images let me select few more images where you can appreciate the images directly and here instead of uh, toggling all this to check mark the images here you can use these numbers or the stars to directly give a number or star to the selected images clear those things and you can appreciate the histogram here you can check the AF points to see where the focus point is and you can see it in the full screen in zoom pattern you can zoom it till 200 or even 400 percent some crazy zoom there so let me keep it at full screen so there is a quick check window then remote shooting if you can if you have the cable and you can connect the dslr camera and you can use this remote shooting option print option is present which we rarely use and finally the save option if you click that a window appears to save the image so these are the basic things that you should see in the digital photo professional in coming tutorials we will appreciate how to edit the photos using this edit image window and we will learn what are the things that we can appreciate in the tool palette thank you